Hello, greetings from Archaeversity. This is Professor Ram Krishna. Welcome to my YouTube channel Archaeversity. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to determine net profit with the help of a profit and loss account. In financial statements, we prepare trading account followed by a profit and loss account, then a balance sheet, then cash flow. In my previous lecture, I explained you how to calculate a trading account. This lecture is an extension to that where I explain how to determine gross profit with the help of a profit and loss account. The values that I considered here or the items that I considered here are a fictitious one and do not resemble any company's financial statements. Just this is to make you aware or uh, make you comfortable in calculating profit and loss account only. So I'll explain this concept with two examples. Please do watch. So using a profit and loss account, we'll be able to calculate the net profit. So net profit is equals to gross profit plus other income. This minus your selling distribution general and administrative expenses so we'll have a format uh, for this let us say we have to calculate a profit and loss account so we'll have a profit and loss account so we'll write here uh, profit and loss account of Messrs Vishal and Co for the year ended March 31st 2021 let's take example so here this is onto your debit side and the credit side so we'll write a particulars and one inner column to make some uh, calculations so here we rupees rupees and then on a credit side also we'll have a particulars then one inner column and one outer column so this inner column in the both the sides we use for some cal calculations or adjustments and the final value is reported in a outer column so on our debit side we bring all your selling distribution general and administrative expenses in simple terms your indirect expenses and on credit side gross profit and other income so we can say other income so here we have an uh, uh, first we look at the item so this is a gross profit you have so this will show on a profit and loss account credit side so salaries and wages because salaries is an indirect expenditure we show this on debit side or expenses side rent is an expense so debit side advertisement is another expense debit side commission paid is another expense discount allowed is expense so debit side debtors is an asset which is ought appear in your profit and loss account so will not this is not this will not appear in your profit and loss account bad debts is a loss so is an expenditure onto the debit side furniture is again an asset which will not appear in our profit and loss account so depreciation is an expense or a provision that we create so we'll write on the debit side as an expenditure sales expenses we'll consider repairs we consider as an expenditure indirect expenses then capital is a liability which will not appear in your profit and loss account loan is again a liability which will not appear in your profit and loss account commission received is an other income so credit side discount received is also another income on a credit side so first we look at the values on the credit side one is a gross profit simply we write here as a gross profit and here particulars so gross profit is 1 lakh 40 thousand rupees then we received a commission so we'll write commission amount received is 20,000 
then we received a discount discount received is 16000 so all the tra three transactions of a credit side are been recorded so we'll make a note so we recorded these then on the, our expenses side we have a rent which is 12000 then advertisement just i'm writing a short form of advertisement 10000 then commission paid so this is 11000 then discount allowed 6000 then bad debts 12000 so we just keep on ticking each and one rent salaries advertisement commission discount allowed bad debts the next is a depreciation so depreciation 15000 then your sales expenses 6000 then repairs 6000 so we made entry for all the transactions in our profit and loss account then we'll balance so before balancing we'll verify which side is highest uh, orally so here 140 160 170 so this is less than 170 only so we close the balance on to our credit side first so this is uh, 6000 then 4 plus 2 6 7 one one lakh seventy six thousand and we close this one lakh seventy six thousand so the difference between these two there is one lakh seventy six thousand of a gross profit plus your other income minus your selling and distributive expenses is your net profit so net profit will calculate so this is uh, going to be we do calculation here so one lakh seventy 6000 minus 12000 minus 10000 minus 11000 minus 6000 minus 12000 minus 15000 then minus 6000 minus another 6000 so this equals to 98000 so our net profit is 98000 so we'll transfer this amount of net profit to our balance sheet and this amount is or uh, this amount belongs to the equity holders so we'll write a closing entry for this i'll show you how to write a closing entries in my next lecture so we look at another uh, simple example so here you have a, a gross profit and all the items you are supposed to prepare a profit and loss account of mrs pulkit and co so we'll write simply p and l account of mrs pulkit and co and this is for the year ended March 31st 2021 so we'll write all our uh, expenses indirect expenses on debit side and direct sorry your gross profit and other incomes on a credit side so first we have a gross profit so this is credit side discount debit is allowed so this comes to the debit side bad debts is onto the debit side because expenses commission this is commission credit is received so credit side administrative expenses debit side creditors this is a liability in a balance sheet so this is not appear in our uh, profit and loss account bank loan is a liability appears in the balance sheet not here fixed deposit also appears in a balance sheet asset not here in a profit and loss account so bad debts recovered is an uh, income so credit side depreciation is an expenditure debit side interest credit is income so credit side charity is an expenditure 
Bank charges is an indirect expense for debit side. Computer and printer is an asset which is shown in a balance sheet. So this will not appear here. Cash at a bank is also an asset shown in a balance sheet but not in a profit and loss account. Then office expenses is expenses debit side. Interest debit that is interest paid so debit side. Now first we write the credit side entries that is your gross profit. I am not using any columns directly I am writing the amount. So 98,690. Then what is the credit we have a commission that is the commission received 1200. So we entered the gross profit. We entered commission. Any other credit yeah, bad debts recovered. So here bad debts recovered and the amount is 2000. Then uh, interest credit. So here we have our interest that is received. How much is the interest received? 4800. Then any other credit items? No. Then we will go to the debit items. So one is your uh, discount allowed. This is uh, 7500. Then bad debts. This is 5850. So discount allowed, bad debts. Then your administrative expenses. Admin expenses, how much? 5000. Then uh, your bad debts you got depreciation, 4200. Depreciation, 4200. Then charity. 500 then bank charges 180 then office expenses 3600 3600 then interest paid paid 3000 so if you look at our credit balances are high so we'll total these first so 9 90 then 8 to 10 16 6 1 5 7 8 8 16 then 9 plus 1 10 so we close the account and uh, just we'll confirm this 98690 plus 1200 plus 2000 plus 4800 so this gives you 1 lakh 6990 1 lakh 6000 sorry 690 not 990 then we'll calculate our net profit so our net profit is one lakh six thousand nine hundred ninety this minus seven thousand five hundred minus five thousand eight hundred fifty minus five thousand minus four thousand two hundred minus five hundred minus one hundred eighty minus three thousand six hundred minus three thousand so 78,000, sorry, 76,860. 76,860 is a net profit. And this net profit we will transfer to the balance sheet onto the equity holders uh, account. So this is uh, how individually you are supposed to calculate a profit and loss account. So I followed uh, a method that is first we have our transactions, identify them whether they should be shown on a credit side or a debit side. Then every time you post a transaction, keep a habit of marking them as a posted by ticking on a, a right ticks. So that this will help you to avoid errors in calculating your net profit. Thank you.
thank you very much for watching this lecture in my next lecture i am going to show you how to calculate the combined account that is a combined trading and profit and loss account so with a given transactions at the same time we calculate the trading account we determine the gross profit with the help of a gross profit and other income and from that we deduct our indirect expenses and we calculate the net profit so two accounts are combined and calculated that is explained in my next lecture keep watching and enhance your learning in financial accounting thank you thank you for your patience and thank you for uh, choosing me to uh, choosing my lectures to enhance your learning